There's a hierarchy of vulnerability that's built into this amendment to the highway code. Uh, and I think, you know, rationally, it's indisputable. The pedestrians most vulnerable, cyclists and horse riders next. So if you enjoy the protection of a car chassis, you're right at the bottom. Um, so the logic of that seems unimpeachable. But th there's a feeling this hasn't been widely publicised. Yeah, uh, the changes are positive. They will protect pedestrians and cyclists and their drivers because it actually puts HEVs at the bottom of the hierarchy. So HE drivers have to look after dri car drivers. Um, but it is true, the Department of Transport has failed completely to do a publicity campaign on the changes that are taking place at the end of this week. And we would uh, argue that that is necessary because these positive changes that protect kids or pensioners cycling on the road, you know, um, are positive, but we, the drivers do need to know that, that they are being changed. Ashton Donica says they're positive. I've seen quite a few emails in our inbox here saying it's, f it's far <laughs> from it. What it will do, say some of our correspondents, is make sanctimonious cyclists even more insufferable. Well, you know, there are sanctimonious people in all walks of life, whether it's sorry, TV, sorry, Donica, radio, I didn't make drivers that or, was for, or cyclists. That was for Rebecca. <laughs> but the idea sorry, Donica, that, hold, that fire, really hold fire, hold fire just a second. Rebecca, what say you? Well, I think the roads are there for everyone to share and we all have to share them nicely. The problem with the new changes that are coming in with the highway code is the fact that we just haven't had um, enough communication from the government. So they're coming in on Saturday and unfortunately there is, there is no information from the government about these changes that people can go and look at.